Uh, at first, I'm just like, what are they yapping about? I get it now. So, right, the middle girl adds scissors to her cup. Because, well, you know, she likes to... The girl on the left of the screen, she added white milk to her cup. And why? Well, because she likes her men white. And the girl on the right of the screen adds chocolate milk because she believes it represents the duality of human nature. The sweetness, the darkness, the yin and yang. But this is not just some type of philosophical musing over her glass of chocolate milk. No, this is deep, man. Real deep. She knows things the rest of us don't. She has seen the hidden messages in the cereal boxes. The subliminal signals in morning cartoons. She knows that the pigeons on the windowsills aren't real. And the milkman don't even get her started on the milkman. Because she knows he's definitely part of the lizard people conspiracy. She's placing it all together. She's connecting the dots. The chemtrails in the sky, the fluoride in the water, the 9-11 attacks. It's all connected. A grand tapestry of manipulation and control. And the chocolate milk is a symbol of resilience, a sign of protest against the powers that be. Or, or maybe, you know, she just likes the taste. Who knows? But here's the thing. She's not alone. There's a whole network of them out there. The chocolate milk drinkers, the truth seekers, the ones who see through the facade. They meet in secret in dimly lit basements just sharing their findings and plotting their next move. They have built an army of the awakened, ready to rise up and expose the truth. And when they do, let's just say the world will never be the same. The Illuminati will tremble. The reptilians will retreat to their underground lairs. It will be chaos, pure and simple. But out of that chaos, a new world will emerge. A world of truth and freedom where everyone can enjoy their favourite flavour of milk without fear of mind control. Well, you know, it's either that or, or she's in the black, guys. <laughs> Who knows?